All right, we're going to be looking at um, 8.6, Write and Graph Inequalities. It starts on page 625. The first example here says, look at the situations below and circle the numbers that are possible answers in each situation. So I'd like you to pause the video and I'd like you to go through and um, answer one through six and then we'll talk about them together with number seven. All right, so number one says Jessica spent more than $5 at the arcade. So if she spent more than $5, you should have circled 6 through 15 because she didn't spend $5. She spent more than $5, so I didn't include $5 when I circled. Um, for number two, it says less than six people rang the bell on the mallet game. So less than six people would be one to five people. Six is not included because it was less than six people, not six people and less. Number three says there were less than 10 people in line for the Ferris wheel. So less than 10 people would be one through nine. Um, nine people would be less than 10 people. One person is less than 10 people. Number four says it costs more than six tokens to ride the bumper cars. So it doesn't cost six tokens, it costs more than six tokens, so that would include all numbers between 7 to 15. Number five says there are less than eight lemonade stands. So there are not lemon eight lemonade stands. There could be seven lemonade stands, but there are less than eight, so it does not include eight. <clears throat> and then number six says there are more than 12 different flavors of taffy, so there's more than 12, that's going to be 13, 14, and 15. And then number seven says, describe any patterns that you see in exercises one through six. Um, one of the patterns that I see is that the number that they're talking about is not represented in any of the circled answers because it's either more than that or less than that, not including that. So um, it does. So none of these one through six include the number that's mentioned in the statement. So we're going to write inequalities, and you can write an inequality to represent a situation. So they're just like those examples we looked at. It says write an inequality for each sentence. Number one, you must be over twelve years old to ride the go karts. So just thinking about it, here's the thing. Think about it. There's 12 in the middle, okay, 11 is the one less, and 13 is the one more. So let's just talk about those three numbers for a second. So you must be over 12 years old to ride the ride. Could you be 11? No. No 11. Could you be 12? No. You have to be over 12, right? So we can't be 12. Could you be 13? Is 13 over 12? Yes. So automatically I now know that this is the direction I'm going to go. I need to find numbers that are greater than 12. Okay, so if it's over 12, it's all the numbers that are bigger than 12. So that means that, um, that the monster or the alligator is eating, right, the bigger numbers. Well, the bigger numbers are the ones we don't know. So that's the A or whatever the variable is that they're going to use and then it's greater than 12. So number two says a pony is less than 14.2 hands tall. So less than, I mean, it already, I mean it already says it right there. The pony is less than, and so we can use our little less than sign, 14.2 hands tall. So the pony, let's say we're using P for pony, is less than 14.2 so they, so I like how they show this here, where it says the words, we're going to use the variable P, is less than, that's the less than sign, 14.2, 14.2. Now going with what I was talking about before, um, just picking a number smaller and bigger than 14, all right? So let's say 13, then we've got 14.2, oops, and then 15 could be our other number. So if I'm talking about a number that's less than 14.2, 13 would work. 
less than 14.2, 14.2 does not work. Less than 14.2, 15 doesn't work. So that leaves us with the numbers that are smaller than, so we have our less than sign. Number three, you must be at least 16 years old to have a driver's license. So um, they're going to let A represent your age, and you have to be at least 16 years old to have a driver's license. So let me write some numbers here. So we've got 15, 16, and 17. Remember, this is just my way of working it out in my head so that I can just get an idea of some number sets that would work. So you must be at least 16. Does that include 15? No. If you have to be at least 16 years old, does that include 16? Yes. If you have to be at least 16 years old, does that include 17? Yes. And so I could guess a bunch of numbers that are bigger and I'm going to continue having the right answer. So when it says that you must be at least 16 years old, you are including 16. You have to be at least 16. At the minimum, right? 16. So the answer is that A is going to be greater than or equal to 16. So it could be 17, it could be 18, it could be 19, it could be 105. But it could also be 16, okay? Because at, at the very least you can be 16. So that's the smallest number it could possibly be or numbers bigger. And a lot of times that at least makes people think, oh, less than. No, no, it's at least. Okay, at the very least, the smallest it could be is that number, okay? And so all the numbers bigger than that number. So if that's at least, what do you think it is to say is at most? So is at most, um, so let's say that um, to get on the ride at Busch Gardens, you can be at most 56 inches tall. Okay, at most 56 inches tall. So what symbol do you think that's going to represent? So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put down my numbers that work for me, okay? And I'm going to say this is my height, and I'm trying to figure out what my symbol is going to be to go with the 56, okay? Because you can be at most 56 inches to ride the ride. So can you be 55 inches? If the most you can be is 56, could you be 55? Sure. If the most is 56, I can be 55. If the most is 56, can I be 56? I say yes. If the most I can be 56, can I be 57? And the answer should be no. And so if you notice, I can go less than or equal to 56. So this is obviously a kiddie ride where you can't go on if you're um, anything over 56 inches, but you can be exactly 56 inches and get on. You could be 32 inches and get on this ride because at most you can be 56 inches. All right, so less than or equal to is what our inequality sign is for at most. So I want you to make that really clear somewhere that at most is less than or equal to. All right, now you're going to solve, um, you're going to write the inequality for each statement. So you're going to show, you need to come up with a variable, and so you need to define your variable, and then you're going to uh, use an inequality sentence using that variable. When you come up, come back, I'll have the answers. Pause now. All right, so A, you must be older than 13 to play in the basketball league. Um, so I'm going to use U greater than 13. U to represent you, I did that a couple times. Um, I define mine by showing the word here, just use that. So you have to be greater than 13 years old. You can be 14, you can be 15, but you can't be 13, you can't be 12, you can't be 10, and so forth. B says to use one stamp, your domestic letter must weigh under 35 ounces. So I've got D to represent my domestic letter, and it has to weigh under 3.5 ounces. So if it is exactly 3.5 ounces, it's, it's too much. If it's um, 3.6, it's too much. If it's 3.4, you're going to be okay. So anything under 3.5 is good, so you've got D is less than 3.5. For C, 
Again, I used you to represent you. It says you must be over 48 inches to ride the roller coaster. So obviously that means that you have to be more than 48 inches. If you're right at 48 inches, you're not enough. You have to be over 48 inches. 48 inches and a half, a 48.2 inches, that's fine. But you can't be exactly 48 inches and you can't be under it. You can't be 30 inches to get on that roller coaster. You can't be two inches to get on that roller coaster. Okay, over. Um, the next one, you must be at least 18 years old to vote. Okay, that's kind of a no-brainer. Um, it's going to be greater than or equal to. You can be 18 years to vote. You can be at least 18 years old, so the very minimum 18 years old. But you can also be, you know, 105 years old. So we're looking at numbers that are bigger than. Now, you can't be 16. You can't be 12. You can't vote right now. Um, but you can be 18 or older. All right, so to graph an inequality, inequalities can be graphed on a number line. And sometimes it is impossible to show all the values to make the inequality true. So, because it can go off into infinity. So the graph helps to see the values that make the inequality true. And so for this first one, it says graph each inequality on a number line. It says n is greater than 9. It tells us that we're going to use an open dot to represent um, the 9 because it's not included in the graph. So when we say that, that n is greater than 9, it doesn't include 9. It has to be greater than 9. If I said that you, to be able to play this video game, you have to be greater than 9 years old, right at 9, you're not old enough. When you're 9 years in one day, you're good to go. Okay. So it does not include this nine so we use an open circle so this is going to be something that you really need to get used to seeing because there's going to be open and closed circles and you have to understand the difference so our open circle okay does not include the number doesn't include the number okay now there's like a hair right next to it that would be, um, you know, like nine in one day, right? Nine years in one day. That's right there. That's in the line now. So that'll work. Just like if I go all the way over here, this is in the shaded area. So it's going to work. But if I was over here, am I in the shaded area? No. So if I said, oh, can my five-year-old son play this video game? No, because it is greater than nine years old and five years old is not part of that group. If you're eight years old and 364 days, you are not old enough to play that game. So you have to wait until you're over nine years old. So nine years and one day will work. So open circle doesn't include the number. Okay, it doesn't include nine years. So now we've got nine, or sorry, n is less than or equal to 10. And now we're going to have a closed dot because a closed dot means, oops, sorry about that. A closed dot means that it is included. So let's make this closed dot means it does include, okay? Includes the number. So for this one, it says on the video game that you have to be um, less than, well, that this game is meant for 10 years old or less, right? So you can be exactly 10 years old to play the game because we've got a solid dot over it. And you can be less. Now, so that means that if you are 9 years and 364 days, you can still play this game and enjoy it. But if you're 15 years old, right over here, you're probably not going to like this game. Okay, it's a little kid's game. You're not going to enjoy it. You're over here. You're outside the, the area that they project that people will like this game. Okay? So closed circle means I'm going to include those 10-year-olds. Okay? Um, but not anything bigger because it's less than. All right, so I'm going to have you try out doing the um, E and F. Remember, your 
closed circle that we have right here includes the number that they're talking about, means that it's equal to as well, whereas your open circle does not include the number because it's not equal to it, okay? So go ahead and do E and F, and then I'll show you the answers. Pause now. All right, so I did an open circle with my 15 because there's no equal sign with my less than sign, and I'm highlighting all the numbers that are less than. Now I wanna show you something if you're not noticing it yet, but notice that we've got a less than symbol here, and look at my arrow, which way it's pointing. Doesn't that show me the same symbol of a less than symbol? This will only work when your variable's on the left-hand side, but look at this next one so I see we've got this going on over here and I've got a closed circle right here and so what that tells me is that it's going to be greater than or equal to because we've got the closed circle and here's my symbol so this is where my variable is going to have to go let's say it's an X and I see the dots over the 7 so I know it's going to be over the 7 so x is greater than or equal to 7. So even just looking at a graph that's already done, you could figure out what the, um, what the inequality is. Graphing inequalities. When inequalities are graphed, an open dot means the number is not included, and a closed dot means that it is included. And so when it's not included, it's going to be the less than or, or greater than. And if it's closed dot, it means less than or equal to or greater than or equal to and that equal to is the point that I'm trying to make is because that's what tells me whether or not I have a closed circle or not okay so close dot we have the equal sign okay open we do not have the equal sign so that's why it's open because it doesn't include that one includes all the other ones but doesn't include that one this one's a closed circle because it does include that one. That's one of my, my one numbers that work. So this is really important here. So please try to memorize that. That is something that you're going to use for years to come. Open circle doesn't include it. Closed circle equal to. So number six says a traffic on a residential street can travel at speeds of no more than 25 miles per hour. Write and graph an inequality to describe the possible speeds on the street. Let S represent the speed on the street. So it's saying that it, it wants us to drive in speeds that are no more than 25. If it's saying no more than, no more than 25, does it include 25? If I don't want you to go any higher than 25, does that include 25? Or is it only including like 24 and a half? No, if I'm saying no more than 25, then you can go 25, just not any more. No more than that. So that means we're going to have a closed circle. And we're going to get all these numbers over here because notice that I'm looking for less than or equal to. Okay? It can be 25, and you can go any number less than 25, but if you go 45 over here, it's not going to work you are over the speed limit, you're not going in the speed limit. Okay, so here we've got our greater than, and then this closed circle tells me I'm gonna have an equal to as well. And the variable always has to go on the left side, and that's where we like to have it anyway. And there we go. So speed limit is less than or equal to 25. All right, that ends our 8.6 lesson for write and graph inequalities. If you have any questions, please make sure you ask them when you get to school. See you in school.